Oh my gosh, hello. Hi everyone. I don't like this angle. I can't find my tripod. <laughs> what is going on? It's been a minute since I started, since I vlogged. Um, but we're in the house. I've been in the house for a couple weeks now. Ugh. This is so awkward. I'm too low and my hair is too greasy. Hi guys. Got my Bon Vive, my hard seltzer, my favorite hard seltzer in the world. It's been a minute since the last vlog was filmed. I know it's only been like a week since you guys have seen it, but I wanted to come on here and talk about the updates because I left you guys kind of on a cliffhanger. She's a Hollywood director. The first thing was the gas. The gas wasn't working. Like, I was like, do I not have gas? And I set it up. I called the gas people. The gas was set up. Turns out the valves, the gas valves that like allow gas into the, into the uh, stove were not turned on. <laughs> so, quick fix. Thankful. The second thing was the hot water. Uh, uh, squeeze me. Didn't have hot water for... Um, about a week. Wasn't really sure why. The one amazing thing that the people who flipped this house, what they did was, is the whole house, all the appliances, electrical, plumbing, all that shit is under a one year warranty. They've already paid for it. So all I had to do was call up the warranty company. So I say, give me all your numbers so I can phone ya. Bum, 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 bum. See my hips on my way. Yes. They came out. Um... Long story short, the hot water was not turned on. It wasn't it turned, wasn't turned on. on. Um, not my fault. The hot water heater on the breaker box was not labeled. How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know that? Whatever. Qu another, another quick fix for the air conditioning. That one was a little bit more complicated. So wasn't getting air. Had air, but then didn't have air. Then had air. Then didn't have air again. So my dad and I went down to the HVAC, which is outside. It says for heating, vacuuming, air conditioning. I don't think the V is for vacuuming. Heating, the air conditioning. We went down there, we looked at the pipes, they were freezing cold. Don't know why the pipes were freezing cold. Don't know why. The pipes were working really hard, thus freezing. My dad figured it out. All we had to do was dethaw it and then put it to like a reasonable degree. Girl, I was putting it on 68. And then I did that to the warranty people because like I said, everything was under warranty. The guy came out and said, actually the problem was there wasn't enough Freon. And that's why it was working overtime because there wasn't enough Freon. So they were like, so, so, the, so the air conditioning was like, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Here we are. They were all quick fixes. I was just a dramatic bitch. Okay, back to the, back to the past me. Goodbye. My hair, by the way, is very greasy. You guys wanna see Waffle? Whoopi, this is his new spot. Oh wait, I have to show you what the living room looks like now. Wow. The house is starting to come together. Got a rug, got a couch. The couch is a little small, but that's okay. I don't need anything super big. My bed frame was supposed to come yesterday and they said they were on their way. I got it from Wayfair. I know, right? And they just didn't show up. I put together my security system. It's caught me a couple times um, getting some Uber Eats, but that's okay. <laughs> the kitchen area is a mess because I don't know what to do with it. Like, I don't know what to do with all this shit. And this is what the office looks like now. And then the third bedroom is the junk room because my office is such a mess. So I think today, part of today is gonna be clearing out that mess. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's go make food. This is home ownership, baby. You see this? Home ownership. I don't have any more clean glasses, so I'm gonna have to use this. I just have some coffee concentrate with some oat milk. It's pretty good. I went to Trader Joe's and dropped like $300 for what? I've been into bananas recently and I don't really know why. Yum. I'm trying not to waste food, so. I'm gonna, these are so ripe. These fucking bananas. These bananas are ripe. I'm gonna do something a little different and I am going to make a peanut butter and jelly like wrap on pizza bread. So first I'm gonna toast my bread. Very simple, very yummy and scrumptious. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I boinked it. She's a little toasty. There's an issue with the microwave. A couple weeks, a couple, a couple days ago, 
I got electrocuted full body. I'm very much afraid to run the dishwasher because if it's just another thing that I'm gonna have to fix. Gosh, this is the biggest jar of peanut butter I've ever seen. So I'm just gonna do this. This banana is sussy, wussy, bussy, waka waka. Maybe I'll put some honey on it. Mmm. Food details are in my Instagram stories. All right, gonna go enjoy this and then get some work done and I'll catch you later when we start doing stuff for the house, so. Oh my God, it's burnt. I'm filming on my old vlog camera because I cannot find the battery for my other camera. Starbucks haul. I never do this. I never do this. I never order Starbucks like this. <coughs> I got a shaken espresso. That shit is so good. I got a Sammy. I got one of the, okay, so I'm all for a good sausage, but their impossible sausage is so good. I finally got my bed frame delivered. It took like two days to put together, I'm not even gonna lie. It's from Wayfair. As you guys know, I didn't plan anything, so I needed something like fast. Like I didn't have time to order stuff. Me and Azure and Courtney, well, Azure and Courtney put it together. I watched because I'm useless, and then my dad had to come and like rearrange some stuff. But guess what? It's fixed, it's beautiful, I love it. Next thing is my office. I took all the junk out of there and put it into the other bedroom. I put a rug down, I moved my editing station in, and it's actually looking like it's coming together. I got the date for when the closet people are coming to the end of July. Look at these beautiful flowers my parents got me. Look how beautiful. Okay. Oh, bitch. Yeah, this is why I need blinds because I was full on talking to a camera and my neighbor was standing right there, but. Hello, I'm back from the Trader Joe. Oh, I'm trembling with hunger, but I want to do a taste test. Oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. Go with my wrap. Okay, so I got a lentil wrap. I do love a lentil. I do love a lentil bean. Mmm. Mm -hmm, okay. Oh, she is definitely spicy. I saw this popcorn pickle. Oh, that's it. I also got this buffalo style chicken dip. Mmm, I can't believe how hungry I got. It like never happens. I'm always like good about eating, <laughs> clearly. This buffalo dip is really good though. Okay, I also got these everything with the bagel chips. You know I had to do it. Giving odd. Oh my god. My Amazon order is here. So much is happening right now. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to another day. Today, we are going to try to make espresso with my espresso machine that I got. I had to take this and put the coffee in it. I got this espresso powder from TJ's. Here we go. Oh, you go like this. There we go. Uh, look at us with some coffee beans. Insert it this way. Hold on. Okay, having some trouble. Let me see if I can get a feel for it. Is it in? Courtney got me these like little housewarming, like little coffee mugs, but they're too big. I'm panicking. Okay, so I'm using a tub of water. Oh, it's doing it. Yay. She's looking the little. I don't really taste much. I think I did too much milk maybe. Cheers, let's start our day. You guys, look at my freaking breakfast. Wow. I used Trader Joe's hash brown, avocado on top, and topped it with a fried egg. And my milk. So while I have you here, I wanna talk about a little bit of something. About living alone, and how that's like for me. Living alone was really hard for me. The last time I lived alone was when I was a junior in college, and I had just transferred colleges, and I was in a very bad place mentally, and it only just made it worse. I tend to hermit when I live alone. There's like no one around. So sometimes I'm just like living life. I haven't left the house in days. I'm just doing work. I'm doing whatever. And all of a sudden I look up and I'm like, wait a minute. I have not spoken a word in two days. And I have very toxic tendencies when I live alone. I just tend to hermit a lot. I don't want to be a hermit. I want to live a very productive life. I want this house to be a positive thing. And I don't want it to turn into like me becoming a shell of a human in a house. You know what I mean? <laughs> Y'all see this installation piece right here? That needs to be broken up and it needs to go in the garbage bin.
I was pushing down boxes in the in the garbage and I heard a crack in my thumb. That's not good. Does it look better? Maybe? I don't know. The trash bin is only so big and I still have all this left, but I guess it looks better. Oh, and I still have my Casper mattress box just chilling right here. Um, look at my camera staring at me. That's right. <laughs>